Hey guys, I'm HB and today I'm going to talk about acoustic blues guitar and specific about the whorehouse blues by Motorhead with Lemmy and this is a really good example for acoustic blues guitar. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, also join the HB Crazy Guitar Academy with a free membership account or a premium membership account. So what is the song which we're talking about today? This one here is really cool. <laughs> And so on. It's really simple to play. We're going to check out how it's played, but also some cool soloing. Basically, pentatonics works great on this on acoustic guitar. Some things you need to check, really know about that it sounds really cool. And you know, when electric guitar is easier, with you have the bandings and you have the sustain. Here we don't have that so much. So we're gonna have to play a little bit different. So let's get started. Okay, guys, the blues is really simple. It's in A. So we have the A5, open A string, second fret, second fret, and it starts. One and two and three. So, so one and you go zero zero. So zero 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 two two zero five five. Back to zero two two is really simple. So that's the figure playing. So one and two and one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and and then on four end that's a little, that's the only technical difficulty here. And then with the pinky here on the four and four and slide up here from the fifth to the sixth fret. And the rest is all eight notes. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Then it goes to D. D power chord. Open D string, second fret here and then, then one, two and three and four. And now comes a trick. You play, I mean, it's one, two, and three, and four, and the four, and you make an anticipation. So, one, two, and so you make this fingering here, fourth or fifth fret. Then this is anticipated on four and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. And you hold it till the two of the next bar. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. And when you play this fast, it gives a really cool effect. See, with this anticipation, you make it more groovy. It's a really common method to do so. So, let me go back to the first riff. Then we go back to D. Same figure. And resolving in E. And the E figure is a little bit different, but it's also simple. E, down here. One and two and... 
you make the E power chord bar here over two. Then one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Just <laughs> play the E5 chord and then third fret, fourth fret, and that's it. Back to A. So that's one part of the form. And then when it goes in the second part, you jump into the D. But the figures are all the same. You just need to rearrange them. Probably listen to the song, how it's exactly arranged. But these are the three main figures which are played on A, D and E. So I'm going to quickly play them again with the track that you can hear. Here it goes in the second part. And if you want to do the original or motor, you have to do the the, the lemmy thing at the beginning. One, two, three, four, <laughs> and then it starts. Yep, it's really simple, and that uh, lives on the vibe of lemmy, of course, and uh, that you never expect a acoustic guitar blues <laughs> by Motorhead. So now uh, let's check out the soloing a little bit. We're just playing A minor pentatonics, um, three licks which I want to show you, which work really nice here. Something like this. Maybe this. It's really simple. The only uh, difficulty is on acoustic guitar, so you have to be really precise with your pick, and you just it's quite fast. So it's uh, you just play the pentatonic, sixty notes. So one two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one. Two. And here you have slide up in the tenth, back to eight and resolve here on on the 10th fret and that's it sounds cool on any position of the song now you and then from there you can do this here Again, a little figure here, and we have start with 60 notes again. 10 to 8, pull off. And then you play 8 notes, so a 60 note figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, and from here are 8 notes. Or you can also make 60 notes. You can do the same in 8 notes, you start with 60 notes. Or in 60 notes. And then you just go down the blue scale. Let's see how that one sounds. It's really cool. In 8 notes or 16 notes. And last but not least, well, you need these these runs because otherwise, you know, when you just play, it sounds a little bit empty. So, but I'll show you the really simple ones here. Pull off flick here, pentatonic eight five. 
So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. Or you hold this. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, end up here. here. Or if you want to make it more special, you make a little syncopization here. You hold this a little bit longer and it sounds cooler then. Let's see how that one works. That was without it again. Now with the syncopization. This is sounds way cooler. So let's put these things together together with simple soloing and then add those licks. And then you're ready to go and play a real cool acoustic blues guitar. You start simple. Hey guys, that was the acoustic blues guitar. Example, Horas Blues by Motorhead. And yeah, it's cool. Um, and it's really simple. The riff is really simple to play with the open string. It makes a life really easy on the acoustic guitar. And the runs are just pentatonic, so a little bit blue scale. And if you have three runs, uh, then you're good to go. Because this, I mean, it's cool to play a few notes in the solo. <laughs> But uh, if you only do that, it's not enough. And with the uh, acoustic guitar, you don't have the sustain or you cannot do really bendings. Then you need something which highlights it and these are the runs. And so we have three runs. They work brilliant. You can also try the, the, two, uh, the variations on the runs. Then you have five runs or six runs. Uh, it's all cool. And the rest, just feel the blues, play the blues. And that's what it's all about play music so if you want to download the backing track and the tabs with the riff and the three licks which i showed it's available in the hp crazy guitar academy join there with a premium member account to download the stuff but also join there with a free member account because that's my news feed social media news feed which i'm doing the rest i'm not really doing anymore so we are saying goodbye to you guys and play the blues muta